So we're back, finally, um, about 15 minutes later. Um, so, I bought Ring Fit about two months ago, and it's ironically, unironically, a really fucking good game. So I've had about my fill of dragons right now, but that doesn't matter to this guy. So meet the red dragon. What a shit. That said, due to the magic of this... Wait, how the fuck? What did you do? What the hell happened here? Huh. Okay. Um. Went idle? Went a dragling? Yes, beginner should go here. Anyone should go here. Just a fucking item. Alright, let me grass. <laughs> nice. Alright. New moon. I didn't get time to read that, so I'll uh, show what that is. I probably should chuck it away. So, as you can see, late moon grass. Large amount. New is all. Yeah. I think, yeah, it's the other, there's one more after that that recovers all health and cure status. It's basically, uh, hidden blessings. Oh, sorry, divine blessings. Alright, so, welcome to 1-1, one, one, Volatarian Palace. So, there is a problem, um, you guys will see very quickly. Um, so you know how I was talking about world tendency and how bright it is? So... Ideally, maybe what I should have done is come in here, which I honestly couldn't, because there's no way I could have really done it without... Because I had to show the fucking intro cutscene to this level. Uh, this is the only world that has that. But, um, due to white tendency, some shit is going to be different. So, you're not going to see how the game's intended to be initially. Such as, this gate is open. On pure black or pure white, this gate is open. That is a little bonus area. We will go there last. So, that's, uh, that's good shit. Um. This isn't quite the archives in Dark Souls 3. That last bridge on the way to Lothric and Lorien. But I wouldn't blame you for thinking it. It's, um, it's some good stuff. Just taking our time. I mean, I've got a lot of health. I've got a lot of healing, so who cares, but... You know, getting hit. Just fucking, who cares? Why not? I mean, why not try to avoid it, rather? These guys are aggroing a little differently the last night, but... I guess I was playing it a little faster. So yeah, your move speed is pretty, is pretty solid in this game. You run pretty fast. Don't, I think Bloodborne might be slightly faster. So let's see, if we back up, can we see him? Up there, other than these sick abs. You will see... There are some bodies hanging. Yep. Um... Mm, I think that's a nice tone setter. So you'll see what this, um, what people mean by atmosphere. Um, you'll get a good idea. As, uh, as why people crow on about that. Haha, <laughs> I get it, because there's a crow. Huh? The true demon soul starts here. I mean, technically, yeah. So, this is very reminiscent of, like, how many encounters in Dark Souls. Two guys that you want to lure out while a crossbow guy fires away at you. We're probably getting hit, hit by a bolt, but... Oh, um, speaking of which... Because this is before Dark Souls 1, oh yeah, don't worry, you can't free aim crossbows yet. Thank you, Dark Souls 2. Thank you for introducing that. Mm-hmm. So, you'd be right to think that's some, like, warp kind of shit. It's, it's not. It's really not. Whoa. There's some weird shadow shit going on there. Um, okay, good. I never really thought about that, but that area, um, I was pointing out. Uh, well, it's fucking... Oh, let's just run. Who cares? 
that little side area I was pointing out, I hadn't actually thought about it, but that's where it leads. So you'll see a shiny, you'll see items, and there's a shiny thing down there. Don't worry, we'll get to that. So that area, there's a doorway just there. There's a friend there too. She's pretty cool. So I hadn't thought about it because I don't know why, I just hadn't connected it. But where we were looking down into the pit is this area. Um, there is some cool shit down there. Needless to say. Um. Yeah, what a stairway. Yeah, that's our friend right there. That's that weird shadow we're seeing, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's some heavy ass armor down there. That's what I was talking about in what I'm assuming should have been part two. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> How quaint, look at this. I'm using that word more than not at all, which is weird. I really have to say quaint, but boy, I feel like that's a good way of describing it, given how prolific the series has become. Like, yeah, like, really, these are super basic little setups, but people just weren't ready for them, because games did them, and then stopped doing them? I don't, I don't fucking know. I think that's the case. Yep. Look into those dead eyes. So we got fire bombs. I think you'll understand what they do. Oh, here we go. So the symbol of those imprisoned in the Nexus, having the ties, uh, having this ties you to the Nexus. Even if you lose your physical body, you cannot die, and your soul remains trapped in the Nexus. The Nexial binding sends the user back to the Nexus upon death, but all souls collected will be lost. So yeah, Dark Sign from Dark Souls. Yeah, I, I'm sorry if like, part two wasn't exactly gripping, what I'm assuming would be part two. I really had to go through a ton of stuff before we even fucking left. So I figured it was better to get that done. Ah, right, come on guys. We're doing our old bait tricks. Ow, fuck you. Yeah. Ah, uh, I'm a little annoyed I didn't beat Vanguard, but it's not that big a deal. Um, yeah, I'm sure, in my head right now as I'm doing this, I put in the clip of beating Vanguard at the end of, um, the second part, when I'm finally leaving the Nexus. So, you guys will have seen that, and you will have seen the fact that you get some hardstone and sharpstone, which is the upgrade materials I was talking about earlier. You also get some souls, and some grass, so that's pretty handy. But, it's not that big a deal. It's just sad we didn't get to experience the Falcon Punch live. Oh well. Um, oh, I should mention right now. Because I'm thinking of it, because fuck it. So this game has two endings. Like Dark Souls 1. Also, get fucking backstab, man. Oh, I gotta show the uh, post animation. But as you can see, that backstab animation is what happens when you use the Hornet Ring. In Dark Souls 1 and 3. Wow. Yeah, so this is dickhead. If we had ranged abilities, we could totally fucking get him, but we don't. Um, yeah, so this game has two endings. Um, I don't know which I'm going for. Because this game does back up. Um, it, I can use class saves, but I don't really know how they work in comparison to how it works on the PS4. Ow, fuck you, buddy. I know he's there, but... Also, yeah, those barrels totally explode if they hit him. Also, you will notice, yeah, this game has uh, frame rate issues. Don't know if you heard about that, but yeah, they're uh, fucking true. Um, yeah, I don't know how the cloud save shit works. We'll get that in a second. But we'll just have to find out. Maybe I can pull some Bloodborne shit where I can show off both. I honestly don't know. Uh, well, if I ever do Dark Souls 3, the beautiful thing is, I can beat um, Soul of Cinder, then just back out. I'm gonna get hit. Doesn't matter. I took him out. I can beat Soul of Cinder, then back out. That's the best part. I don't have to do Moon Presence where I have to beat him. Ah, fuck you. Again, no plunging attacks. Just a hammer that home. Speaking of hammers, we are gonna get one in this level. Oh well. Uh, that item, though, that I was just pointing out, is a bastard sword. Uh, what I should have done was this. So, you'll recognize this trap. 
It's a fucking classic, isn't it? Straight from Laudrin to here. Or rather, from here to Laudrin. Here we go. The Bastard Sword. It's what you think it is. Yep, yeah, so, uh, Sin's Fortress Boulders. Is it made of iron, I think? I don't fucking know. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, um, in case you're new to this, um, channel, or at least in new to my playthroughs, um, I don't know if you noticed, but we're playing a rather violent game. So I don't think swearing is that big of a deal. I mean, I'm not running ads on this shit, so it's not like YouTube's gonna fuck me over in that regard. Ha ha ha, more swearing, yeah. But seriously, I'm stabbing, I'm stabbing fucking zombies. In this brutal medieval game, where you saw two people hanged up in check, like, via chains. I really don't think swear words are the worst thing that could happen here. Also, as a reminder for people that don't know, um, when civilization wasn't fucked by a virus, I was a teacher. I technically still am. I'm only a fucking relief teacher, which is annoying, but hey. Um, so I'm at least getting paid something for staying at home, but um, I don't think any of the kids I teach are going to find this, and if they did, parents, the fuck you doing? Why are you letting your kids... What's, why are you what, what, letting your kids fucking watch this? Like, come on. Look at this brutal shit. Oh, speaking of brutal shit. So, we fought the Blue-Eyed Knights earlier, and there's one down there. Hmm. Wonder how tough a Red-Eyed Knight could be. We're gonna back the fuck up. This guy could one-shot me right now. Alright, come on. Let's see how we go. I'm not parrying. I'm not fucking... Yeah, so you'll reckon... I dropped my guard for a split second to readjust my finger. Oh my god. So, anyway, I think I made the point I wanted to anyway. Mmm. You don't fuck with that guy. Also, um, you haven't seen it yet because I cut it out. I, I had a little break, but these load times are long. They're not that bad, at least in level, but they're pretty fucking bad still. Um, Bloodborne, upon release, was better, I think. Um, I don't know, actually. Bloodborne on release was consistent with how shit it was, I think. This game, when you're entering a level, takes like a minute like maybe a minute and a half I don't f I've never timed it but it's long like this game when you die like it loads pretty okay obviously not as fast as the soul is the, the later souls games but still also yeah they have that attack you know it well it's finally back to kick some tail oh man I should have fucking I should have gone the other way I'll explain my thought in a sec. Let me just kill these two dragglings. So yeah, um... I didn't point it out, but you'll be noticing. Look how many souls I'm getting. Hmm. This game gives you less souls than than uh, the original version. Let's get a pre-patch. Than the base version of Dark Souls 1. Back when skeletons gave you nothing and bosses gave you half souls. At least they gave you like 50. These guys are giving me 6. Which will go into a point I'll be making rather soon. When I finally find a merchant in level. And oh boy, I uh... I better plan out what I'm doing there. Because I gotta talk about that shit too. So... As you can see... That red eye knight is not to be fucked with. Similar, in a similar fashion to the Wu-Tang. Um, I ended up in a body bag, apparently. Also similar to if you mess with the wolf pack, allegedly, I don't know. So, we gotta do the good old thing of run back and pick up our blood stain. Oh, here we go. So, this will give me enough thing to talk about. Soldier's Lotus. Okay, it's cool shit. Um, bleeding. Bleeding in this game is not bleeding in the other ones. Bleeding works like poison. It's effectively poison in a different by a different name. Um, I can't remember, and I should have checked this, my bad. I can't remember if poison um, screws up your stamina regen like 
Um, well, like Dark Souls 2. Um, it's not like DS1 or 3 do that. I can't remember what it does. I feel like it, maybe it, it does something to your maximum health. No, I don't think that's right. Well, we're not going to be bled out for a bit. And by the time we get to a level where I can be bled, uh, you guys will, will, I'll fucking tell you. I don't know why I'll fucking tell you as opposed to tell you, but again, look at this game. I don't think swearing's that much of a concern. So those guys at least give 20. That's like, that's still less than the Hollow Soldiers in Undead Burg. It's closer to High Wall of Lothric. Boy. That is one thing about Dark Souls 3, and oh boy, don't worry. I'm playing a Souls game. Time to shit on Dark Souls 3, a game I love a lot. 9 out of 10. Love it. One of my favorite games. But time to shit on it. Okay, that didn't blow up. That's cool. So. A lot of people that have played Dark Souls 3 have commented this or noticed this. Dark Souls 3 doesn't give you a lot of souls for, for your... Got hit by a fireball. Excuse me while I slur my words. Um, yeah, no, in real life, someone just threw fire at me. It fucking hurt. That stays down here too. That's nice. Boy, in Dark Souls 3, do you not get a lot of souls to make shit worth it sometimes? Turpentine. That's cool. Sorry, the game's giving me shit to talk about. My bad. It's pine resin. The fuck was that? That exertion sound was weird. Yeah, Dark Souls... Uh, th th Dark Souls 3 has that weird shit where you will kill some, like, DLC enemies and only get, like, 1600 souls. Dark Souls 2, on the other hand, is far more generous with some of that shit. But Dark Souls 3 is weird in the amount of souls it gives you for killing things. It's closer to Bloodborne, huh? Like a lot of Dark Souls 3, how about that? But it's just... It's just really fucking weird. Like, you'll kill the, um, you'll kill the big guys on High Wall of Lothric, the Halberd dudes and the, um, Great Axe guys, and you won't get nearly as many souls as you think, given the amount of health they have. It's, um, weird, and it's kind of in line with this game, but, yeah, it's, it's weird after coming off 1 and 2, which are pretty generous with their souls. Um... Two in particular is actually pretty sick in regards to like how much it costs to level up. Um, if you haven't played two, go do that shit. Yes, you probably won't like it at the start like I did, but you won't regret it in the long run. If you don't like it, well that's fine too. People are allowed to have different tastes. We will fuck with him in a second, but not now. So I like to imagine the eight, one of the eight people playing. Oh, we, could, we could see an actual phantom, so that means someone is in this world right now. Or was, rather. Um, I'm hoping someone walks up to that and goes, Oh, someone got fucked by Reddy over there. You know what? Let's swap. Hold on. Yeah, you can item manage pretty well. A Bastard Sword takes 18 strength in this game, unlike the 16 required in Dark Souls 1. And less than the 20 required in Dark Souls 2. How about that? Alright, so I'm kind of pissed off because this is what I should have done. I should have come over here first. I should have killed the blue, the blue-eyed knight first. Should have got the light crossbow and the bolts, which are kind of shit. Because as I said, you can't name them. We should have got revenge. And we should have gone back. Like so. Sorry, we've got to hoof it. And behind that blue-eyed knight, there is a fog wall. Like good old Dark Souls. There is also something else. It is a shortcut back to the start which is pretty rad yeah so the shortcut the shortcut pornography as it is sometimes known started with this game so this is what I really should have done first instead of fucking with red eyed knight but at the same time I get some I get some more souls oh hey dude do it damn it sometimes he gets hit by it it's pretty funny when it happens so while I'm thinking of it, I might as well discuss, because this is a long level. Um, this 1-1 one -one is going to be its own episode, if not two chunks. I don't know. I'm probably going to have it as one, like, 45-minute episode. Because looking at this, I'm already 23 minutes in. Um, these are the corpses. So that's one. 
as two. I would rate you if I could, dude. As a reminder, in case you skip two, because well, I'm gonna put a disclaimer: skip two if you have if you know this game, because it's all shit you know. Well, that looks, yeah. I'm just saying it now to state that I did it. I don't know. Shut up. Um. So, what I was going to start talking about was my build. Now, I'm not particularly fussed as to what I'm going to go with. I kind of want to show off as much as possible in this game. So it's going to be that kind of build that people fucking hate. Where it's, it has a little bit of everything, but too bad. I think that kind of captures the spirit of these games to a degree. So, again, something you can actually do pretty well in too, now I think about it. Um, kind of with mundane, but yeah. Well, see, yeah, that animation's a good old carryover, isn't it? Um, I'm definitely going to go for a bit of everything. I do like my great axes and great shields, so I might use that. I might use them. Okay, we're going to have some things to talk about, so let's get this shit done. Cling ring. A mysterious ring forged in the shape of an eye. Character loses less HP after becoming a soul. So, if we back out, you'll see I'm on 286 health. I didn't need to do that because it fucking shows the health I've got right now. Um, and it'll bump me up to 401, which is about, what, 60% of my health? 70%? Something like that? Two, we have this to talk about. Three, we have that to talk about. And in fact, it's technically four, because there's even more shit to talk about. So, you'll notice we got an armor set. Um, we didn't get the head, though. You find that in Tower of Latria. So, old ragged robes, you will notice underneath, female only. This is why, um, even though I like a lot of the male armor, playing as a female is actually kind of advantageous in this level, because you get this armor set. Like, it's not better than the fluted shit, but you can wear it all, and it that equates to what I've got right now. So, robe made of layers of ragged fabric. It's covered with, t it's covered with tears, unsightly open seams, and numerous unsightly insects wriggling within it. No same, same, it's the theft. Ah, oh, so anyway, I was just talking about how no sane person would dare wear this. Um, and no sane person would, um... Well, they wouldn't fuck it up like I did just then. So, it's talked about later. Boletaria has a thing for hanging witches. Um, anyone who's played Dark Souls 3, I'm pretty sure you recognize that, and yep. You probably already know about it, but yes, it is that. Jade hair ornament. To a simple... A, wait, what am I saying? A simple jade hair ornament. Could it belong to a poor little girl? Yeah, it does. We'll get into that when we get back to the Nexus. Okay, so here we go. Terry Crews is about to fucking bash through this wall, so I've got to read this very quickly. An old spice with a pungently sweet smell restores a large amount of users' MP. It is made by mixing various fermented ingredients. Because of its sharp smell and often unsavory brewers, it has been prohibited in some regions. Some regions. So, um, we found it with some ragged clothes. It restores MP. Um, yeah. Boletaria don't like witches. So this is how you recover your MP in this game. Again, if you know this game, I'm telling you shit, you know, but... Um, yeah. This is the equivalent of having the Ashen Esters in Dark Souls 3. Is it a better system... I don't know. I've been playing... I hadn't played it for a while, but I've been playing a lot of the Dark Souls 3 Cinders mod on, on my PC copy of the game. And that mod has um, regenerating FP. It makes a world of difference, but I don't know if it would be as balanced in the proper, in like proper Dark Souls 3 as it is in the mod. Because they had to make the game harder as a consequence. Oh, you might recognize that guy. He's wearing the same shit we were. Um, but yeah, no. I don't know if regening MP is a good thing in Dark Souls 3. Um, but I like it for the purpose of the mod. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that shit later, I guess. I, I've got enough of these fucking games to play about to talk about all the little intricacies. Hey, so we're running. So, it is known is noted by scholars, but not by the layman. It is known that the EDF games had a profound impact on Dark... No, I'm shitting you. I'm just, I'm just making a dumb joke. Yeah, the frame rate's kind of shit in this game. We'll come back for you, dude. We'll come back for you. 
So, you might be able to see, there is a gentleman there. I mean, we could take both pretty easily, but... What's the point? It's a Souls game. If the game's not going to play fairly, I'm going to wait it out. So, he's just a standard knight. So, you're starting to see why, yeah, strength builds are pretty rad. Oh, by the way, unlike Dark Souls 1, you can actually see the proper animations. With yeah, You don't get the shitty swing. Which is something I kind of like about DS1, but I kind of hate. It's kind of nice in 2 that you can, in 2 and 3, you can just swing your weapon and see. As opposed to Bloodborne as well, where you can't even equip it. How much can I get for this, dude? Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? I like this guy. What a fucking champ. Alright, so meet the Dregling Merchant. He even says Dregling up top, which is nice. Um, you'll see he sells grass, firebomb, soldier's lotus, um, various weapons. The club is pretty cool, actually. It's got better scaling than our straight sword right now. So D and E, and that has C scaling. Um, you'll note the weird markings. Like all the other games, club and hammer weapons typically do strike. Stuff like the war pixie exception, of course, because that's a thrust weapon. Spear, thrust damage... If we went the soldier, uh, I should have said that. If you go the soldier, you get a broadsword and you get a short spear, which is pretty handy. They're pretty good weapons to complement each other. Crossbows are shit. Wooden shield. So that's what bar that's what the barbarian had, not the slave shield. I fucked up there. Soldier shield, pretty all right, but we've got a knight. No, oh, excuse me, we got a knight shield. Um, yeah, slave shield. What I was talking about. Look how garbage it is. It's not good. So, oh good, I can talk about this. So, you'll notice, um, damage reduction percent. It has 80, 30. On the left is your physical, on the left is your magic. Now, for some reason, they decided not to list the fire resist. I don't fucking know why, but they didn't. So, I think... Okay, look, this is prob probably super wrong, and I can name some exceptions off the top of my head. I think as a rule of thumb, most shields will have similar magic and fire resistance. I know there's quite a few that don't. Um, we'll get one in this level in particular that is pretty... I think it's okay magic resist-wise, but it's really good fire resist-wise. It's a big fucking heavy shield, it's pretty rad. Purple flame, it's cool. But, yeah, I don't know why they didn't. Wood bolts... Okay, and this is what the soldier was wearing. So you will notice, if I can fucking show the price, boy that shit is expensive. This game really makes you consider um, what's more important, the level to the armor. So, um, I guess, I don't know, because I've never played the original version of, of Dark Souls, where I've, I've only had the Prepare to Die edition and Remastered, so, I don't know if they're going for a similar feeling where you have to choose, like, equipment versus levels. But you definitely have to in this game. I mean, unless you dupe. And I'm probably not going to dupe many souls. But even then, it'll be to get shit like this so, just so I, could, so I can show. Also, given how the progression of this game works, when I beat the boss, this guy will move to 1-2. We're currently in 1-1. One, one. I beat the boss here. Moose to 1 2. So, yeah, Moose is the underground section of uh, Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. Um, if we beat the, the second boss, he will move to 1 3. Due to how this game's set up, you have to go to the end of another archstone to even get into that level. So, he will sell a claymore in the next level. I'm thinking in between sessions, I'm going to dupe some souls just to buy the claymore, because otherwise, we've got to wait for like. You won't see the Claymore for like another 10 episodes. And I can't, I don't think I'm going to use it, but I'd like to just show it off. So anyway, that's enough of that shit, let's talk. Be a brave knight or depraved slave, the demons will snatch your soul and you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> It's hard not to like this guy. And yeah, he kind of does look like Patches, doesn't he? He's doing the same squat. 
I especially like the ancient technique, his family bloodline technique, if you like, of the uh, shield clipping through his knee. There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. Mm, we might He's have seen him. Who's managed to stay sane like yourself? Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his shirt. It is the end of Great Britain. Okay, Patel. so he's cycling. Go ahead, take your time. He's quite nice, I'm isn't he? He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Uh, so as a consequence, I don't think we're buying anything from him, but maybe we will. I don't know. So yeah, he was talking about our friend down there. Who we can't quite see because he's blocked by the wall. You'd see that gold ore if we can. We'll help him in a sec. I just want to do a thing or two. Oh, look at this. Some kind of trap. Hmm. So we can totally drop down there, um, which is part of the area our mate in armor is in. Uh oh. So aiming this shit is hard. I think this is about the timing. We'll get one at least. Ah, oh, fuck you. Okay, come on. Give me the guillotine axe or the present axe. Come on. I'm not gonna fucking get it. Damn it. That'd be incredibly unlikely. Yeah, we have no use for the um, old spice right now. Fresh spice is the green stuff. We don't have that yet. Oh, and yes, if you saw above us, yeah, those are, those are some marksmen. <laughs> I've got to plan these guys. I like it. There was also a blue-eyed knight right up there, so that's going to be great. A Volatardian knight. Unlike Lothric knights, they're not quite as bullshit with their poise. I don't know what this accent's meant to be, but it's pretty shite in it. <laughs> it's pretty fucking garbage. Yeah. Like, look. Just as a reminder, I fucking love Dark Souls 3. One of, like, one of my favorite games. They all are. I love all these games. But boy, do Lothric Knights rub me the wrong way sometimes with their fucking bullshit poise. Just kind of accentuates the weirdness of, like, your character's, character's ability versus the enemy's abilities. Which, two and, 1 and 2 did pretty well. Like, it's always said as, like, a great part of Dark Souls 1 where basically you're on equal footing with most enemies. Most humanoids, at least. Um, I should mention... Oh, that was all good. Um, if I get a say in it, um, which I will, because we're level leveling strength after this, I'm not going to be two-handing most of the game, I think. I'd like to just one-hand. We'll go back there in a sec. I just want to uh, demonstrate this. So we were talking about frame rate. Okay, didn't quite shit the bed as hard. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, we didn't shit the bed nearly as hard. This is great, though. I love this. Ah, it's great. Alright. So we'll double back in a sec, but while I'm here, over on those cliffs, you will notice there are some items. If we were not in White World Tendency, as I've shown, there would be the Blue Dragon over there. The Red Dragon would also show up. Um, I guess this is a con of being part of the server right now. I mean, I could go back and fix it really easily, but yeah. Um, it'll be easier so I can grab the item. So I can always come back and show it after placing a message. Um, they do change the tendency pretty often on the server, which is nice. So, no complaints there. Oh, speaking of which, the server is not in this game. That's a Dark Souls 1 weapon. Ha ha ha, puns. Ha. Hilarious. Hmm, plunging attacks would be great, right? Sorry, Saint Right. There's no verticality here, man. Yeah, I'd like to see Saint play Demon Souls. I don't know if he has. I haven't seen anything on his channel, but fuck yeah, that'd be rad. Don't know if he'd like the PvP as much, but hell. I, I don't know if I like the PvP. I've never fucking had the chance. Frame rates, though. I wonder if frame rate's part of the meta. I know that you're, uh, you should avoid using a certain spell. Um, Anti-Magic Field, I'm pretty sure it's called. Basically, Vow of Silence. Because it creates some fucked up lag. That's a blue-eyed knight. Yes, there, uh, yes, there is. But not really. We can't climb that. Alright. So I'm feeling pretty happy with what we've done here. So there's an area there we'll go to in a sec. Let's go help 
our mate in armor who I have obviously intentionally not been naming because we don't know who it is yet. <laughs> 